So, the human race operates much like the cosmos does, okay? A delicate interplay of energy, power, influence. And I want you to picture this infinite canvas where every bloodline plays an, its role in this grand celestial orchestra of sorts, okay? You've got your suns, your supernova, your black holes, and these are not just merely uh, intergalactic cosmic phenomena. These are metaphors also for the intricate dyna dynamics of lineages and the contributions they make and the consequences they leave behind. So within this metaphorical framework that we're going to discover, I have drawn a profound truth about the human condition, how it thrives, how it evolves, and sometimes falters under the weight of its own momentum. So we want to take this journey into this cosmic tapestry where family bloodlines hold the keys to both illumination and also casting shadows. So we know that suns are stars, they are life givers, steadfast centers where everything else orbits around them. They are bright, they are the burning cores of vitality, much like a strong and influential bloodline that fuel the engine of progress of society. So imagine a sun that shines so fiercely that it becomes the gravitational anchor for everything in its reach, meaning planets, moons, comets, everything else, solar systems. In the same way, a prominent bloodline serves as a bedrock of its community. Its um, influence radiates outwards, okay? It brings life and nurture to those around them. These bloodlines are marked by traits that endure through generations usually, and resilience is usually a part of that, you know, resilience that refuses to break, intelligence that solves impossible problems, creativity that is enough to spark revolutions, and leadership that inspires people. So just as the rays of the sun nourish life on earth, these traits become the foundation upon which societies grow and thrive. They push humanity towards progress, um, and they shape everything from, you know, fire to modern technology and culture, leaving behind a legacy that stretches generations. So without these suns, the world would be cold, directionless, and barren. They are the light that guides the way forward, and their brilliance is unmistakable. Now you can think about this, you know, even suns or stars are not eternal. Even their lifespans are finite. They have deaths and they're catastrophic, and they sort of bring a strange beauty and potential for renewal, but at the same time, you know, well, first let's enter the supernova. Because when a sun exhausts all of its fuel, it erupts in this kind of dazzling explosion that scatters all of its elements across the universe, okay? Well, this is the cosmic equivalent to generational change within a bloodline. A strong lineage will eventually produce a supernova, you know? figures that impact where a bloodline was once so you know impactful that they have done a lot of things to mold the collective conscious and press humanity forward okay the bloodline may have had geniuses revolutionaries innovators that disrupted the status quo and uh, they will scatter this out like stardust and that part is important because it enriches the human gene pool by introducing new ide ideologies that push society forward. You know, certain families have given the world visionaries, leaders, trailblazers that influence goes far beyond their families and beyond their lifetimes. The energy of their lives don't simply vanish, it lingers and it permeates to the culture and it sparks imaginations of the current and future generations. So the supernova reminds us what, you know, that individual lives are fleeting, but their impacts ripple outwards and they create legacies that transcend time and space. But, you know, not all light and not all light is always growth. You know, the universe holds ominous power and in the presence of black holes, which is a sun that has passed away, gravitational anomalies um, in the bloodline uh, begin to consume the path. In this metaphorical framework, black holes represent the darker side of this human gene experiment that we're all involved in. You know, paths that lead to stagnation, regression, and, you know, maybe eventually ultimately irrelevance. And just as a black hole devours light and matter, lineages uh, can become parasitical, 
draining society's resources without offering anything meaningful in return. These are gene uh, experiments, you know, that once carried potential in a bloodline, but has began to decay due to complacency, greed, corruption, whatever the case is. The traits that have been passed down become obsolete, harmful, and create this kind of societal entropy. So, and you also have this, you know, you know, selection of diversified genes. When you bring two parents together, you're mixing genes. And this, 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 you know, worldwide uh, science fair project that we're all involved in is, you know, is a uh, is a science fair experiment of the human collective, because you have individuals choosing their mates, which is in a way a science experiment to put the best foot forward uh, of the certain qualities and traits that a a mate would have okay so you have this kind of genetic mix up there and and you know the world kind of chooses for the best traits and there's a lot of things that traits that you might not think could be useful or useful but and you know and it takes more than just once you just because you look good doesn't mean that you know that's a fleeting you might have good genetics in that way but there's other people that might have bloodlines that span for the next three or four thousand years of prominence and none of them are their butt ugly but they have like extreme intelligence or creativity whatever the case is and so you can see that now if you were both then hey yeah that's that's the that's even greater but it's also at the same time, due to human nature and our free will, no gift is without its temptation, you know? So over time, uh, through this genetic experiment and generations of gene mixing, the traits can become obsolete or harmful. And again, like I said, create this kind of entropy. So you can picture maybe a family whose legacy uh, once burned brightly, but over hundreds or thousands of years in different generations ends up kind of regressing and collapsing under dysfunction and even drawing others into its orbit of despair okay these are beginnings of genetic dead ends where the paths lead to nowhere and so in this kind of grand cosmic experiment black holes are a reminder that not all lineages not all individuals contribute to the collective good some consume without giving pull without pushing and ultimately despair into their own void, leaving nothing but a shadow of what could have been. Now, there's this is an individual base. You can't say just because you were unproductive for a while that you're all ultimately unproductive. And at the same time, there's also a sort of like freedom to being at the end of that line. You know, it just depends on how you look at it. Okay, but we are kind of in this dance of interaction, adaptation, and survival as humans. And the stars, just as stars forge new elements in their cores and bloodlines mix, evolve, and refine themselves over generations, you thought it was just attraction, but it's actually like a science fair experiment. And so this, you know, genetic diversity ensures that humanity continues to adapt and learn from its mistakes and grow stronger in the face of challenges. That's kind of the purpose of the genetic trait selection, you know, and so if you don't, then you'll produce off, offspring with traits that don't suit the best of both worlds. And, you know, you want to, you want, you want to have the, you want to have the, you want to continually improve upon. Okay. So just like nothing is random, this in the cosmos or in our own seemingly mundane human dance that we have, Everything's about what we leave behind. Every action we take and every decision we make contributes to the grand experiment that we all are a part of, and it shapes the trajectory of the human race. It really does. You know, I don't mean to just take everything so astronomically serious, but at the same time, there is a deeper meaning than most people think about a lot. You know, there are moral dilemmas. There's, you know, spiritual dimensions of this human existence. And the suns and supernovas and black holes, they, they are symbols of genetic and societal dynamics. That's what I've drawn here. They're a reflection of the generational human spirits that represents not just bloodlines, but souls, you know, and examining this can, you know, shine a light onto this kind of experiment that we're all in and give testament to the transformative power of 
individuals as well as legacy to kind of dream and understand the importance beyond the ordinary. And a black hole is not just a genetic dead end, but they also serve a purpose because it's a cautionary tale of what happens when we lose sight of our potential and allow greed, fear, or apathy consume us. And these are celestial bodies. In the sky, they're mirrors. They're showing us who we can be and what we risk becoming if we do not take at least a modicum of seriousness to what this gift of life is. This metaphorical framework invites us to kind of reflect on our place in this cosmos. Are we creating and giving life as a bright shining sun? Are we supernovas, um, catalysts for change, leaving behind a scattered legacy after we're gone because we are in the down phasing? Or are we black holes while we are consuming without giving, pulling others into our orbit of darkness? Okay. The answer to these questions are never fixed. They are shaped by the choices that we make as well. So keep that in mind. It's not just all happenstance. We are in a constant state of flux and, you know, just as the cosmos is. So we do have the power to change, to grow and evolve into something greater. And this cosmic experiment is ongoing and every one of us plays a role in it, whether we um, take heed to that and realize it or not. So the next time that you look up to the stars, just remember that you're not just a passive observer of the crazy gift of life that we've been given. You are, and you definitely can be an active participant in it. Your lineages, your choices, your actions, they are the stardust that shapes the future. And you have the power to be a life-giving sun, a supernova, or even a black hole that consumes everything in its gravitational pull. And you have a, a, a good level of choice in that. So which will you choose? Only you can decide that, but I thought it would be uh, thought-provoking and hopefully beneficial and helpful to anybody that can't seem to kind of get over the awe-inspiring magnificence of whatever the heck this is that we've been put into. You know what I mean? I don't know if any of you ever think about that. Like, you know, just the unbelievableness of how crazy this life is and how, you know, what are the chances? You know what I mean? So... They're all part of this science experiment, and that kind of like breaks it down to a level, I think, that people will understand when it comes to mate selection, when it comes to having offspring, when it comes to all this. Whether you realize it or not, you are coded to select. Now, now you have the, the intricacy, you have the, you know, complexity of societal rules and social norms and this, that, and the other. It's not so simple as, you know, the strongest, the strongest bull just goes out there and, you know, runs all the other steers away and, and, and breeds all the heifers. That's not the way it works in human society, okay? So you have that in intricacy. It's not as simple as the best looking, strongest, most capable guy breeds all the women. That's what animals do. We have a, another complexity. Now, that, that being that, having that trait would obviously be beneficial, but you'd have to add intelligence and social um, awareness and stuff like that and and influence to that to maximize the potential for your uh, best foot forward as far as the carrying on of your genetic code goes. So yeah, and women, the tests that they do, that's all part of the science fair experiment that, it, that, that we are as human beings. I can't tell you what the uh, end goal is, but I can tell you that we're all part of it. I can I can break down what it is just by looking at history and looking at the present and looking at the trajectory, and you know that's what it is. We no nobody really knows where the end of this ride ends up, but uh, I can tell you that as far as I can tell, everything that I've just explained is very very incongruence with what the truth is. I I believe so. So. Make sure you smash the like button if you like this video, thought it was thought-provoking and introspective, and get a conversation started in the comments. And if you'd like to support this channel and its mission for discovering new thought patterns and phenomenon, philosophies, things of that nature, then you can you can support the channel by clicking on the Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, or Stripe links pinned in the comments as well as the video description. As always, until next time, God bless.